welcome back everybody so today we're going to try founders all day west coast this is a session west coast style ipa i did pick this up in the founders all day variety pack uh, i've done two so this is my third so i have one more left to do so this one 4.7 percent abv 35 ibus i guess right off the bat i understand session but West Coast style IPA, I think the IBU should be upped, but that's just me. Canned on date for this one is 2-1-23. Uh, this is the beginning of March, so fresh. I don't know when this was released, um, but I just went to the store yesterday and picked it up. Uh, as I said in the other ones, I will do a tasting of all of, the, all of them and tell you which ones I like. Uh, the best. Also, the other day, founders put a picture out with all the tasting notes of each one, what they thought. So I thought it would be fun when I do the review of all of them, I'll look it up then because I don't want to look. I try not to look at anything when I do the review. Uh, so that way I'm going in with a clean head. Uh, H-shell white almost. There is a touch of yellow coming up through there. Bubbles seem to be more spread out and popping and creating peaks and valleys versus the other two. Uh, finger fed, golden yellow in color. You can definitely see through that thing. But yeah, white session beer, sure. Let's go ahead and smell. I want to say a, like a little floral in there, like citrus floral, maybe a little bit of malt uh, sweetness. Uh, maybe a touch of pine. I'm trying to find the West Coast in here, and I'm not there. Yeah, I would say like a touch of floral or even like woody with a hint of citrus and pine, but I think that's pushing it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and taste. Um, I'm not sure. Not... Not very flavorful. I, I think that pine bitterness is starting to creep up the more you drink it and the more your palate warms up. But a smooth, malty, maybe a touch of caramel coming out of that. Uh, generic citrus, very light. And then, like I said, you get that pine bitterness in the back. Hmm. All day drinking, sure. Um, not, at least in my opinion, not a lot of flavor there in this one. But if you're looking at the all day aspect, sure. But it does seem like that bitterness, it does keep creeping up the more you drink. It's nothing like all day IPA. But I don't... I'm not sure where they were going with this. I don't, I'm not really getting, yeah, sure, in the aftertaste as that bitterness climbs up, we could say West Coast IPA if you wanted to. But you would think there would be a little bit more citrus in there. I think the maltiness, maybe that little bit of caramel maltiness that you're getting is fine. I think it's just missing, I'll say, like a fruit or citrus taste in there. Yeah, kind of, kind of bland. Uh, hmm. I wonder why they went with 35 IBUs. Because all day is like 42, something like that. So if this is a West Coast, I think it would be higher. That's just me. Yeah, 
it does have a little citrus. Uh, 3.75. I think I could drink more of these than I could uh, the Founders all day. Uh, but, yeah, 3.75 somewhere in there. Let's go ahead and check untapped. One of my friends checked it in, uh, 4 out of 5. Almost 700 people have checked it in, 3.73 out of 5. Light, hoppy, piney, smooth, earthy. Okay, that's where I was getting that floral. Piney, citrusy, a bit dank. I could see that. I just, I, I want a little bit more. But that's just me. So if this sounds like a good one to you, go ahead and pick it up. I think you have to get it in the variety pack. I don't think they sell standard or like a 12-pack of just this. But, yeah, if you like it, pick it up. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.